Okay, this is just a short video, hopefully, but I want to show you how we deal with the times, or how I deal with the times. Um, I'm in the N4 controller for this, this site, and the server is actually on another page, on another site, uh, but I've brought in these time clocks here. So they're, they're, they're just numeric on and off from the server, the cloud server. And we've got the Coffee AHU times there, and this is the Coffee AHU times at this moment. So what we're going to do is I'm going to run Kit Control, open up Kit Control palette, and I am going to go to Utilities and Status DMUX. Server enabled. So there's the server enabled and just pin slots and open up in status link mark that coffee AA, um, not coffee AHU times I want the server link to status status so if the server goes down that would be true so we can take out some of these other pin slots now I'm only interested in if the server goes down, i.e. we've got no communication to the server. So if we go offline, that will go true. That false will go true. Then I'm going to put a Boolean switch in there. Um, server TC, so server time clock. Take that down and put it into there. So while it's false, I'm going to put in here the time clock from the server. And if it's true, I'm going to set it to a null value. Not a false, a null value. So if we lose connection to the server, that is going to eventually go into this in. But now what I'm going to do is take the coffee AHU times link mark link to out into the false so it's true at the moment sending a true and we put that into there we'll do a couple of more I'm just going to copy that so that's that one in the coffee lounge AHU hot water one There's my hot water, and we're going to just paste that there. Again, I'm going to link mark, link to from the server, and then I'm going to link mark that and link that into the false, the bottom. So that's true, I and mean, then I can take that and put that into there. So if we go offline, we will use its own internal clock on the station. And apparently we've got a plant alarms here. Use wire sheet, which is actually off. So plant alarms there, it's unoccupied at the moment. And the time clock is all unoccupied for every day. <coughs> Paste that into there. Link mark. Take off that, that's it, link mark. A server. Niagara connection. Is okay. Link mark and the members, not the uh, yeah alarm times. <coughs> Link to out into there. Take that 
which is false for that interview alarm times so that's that one done views wire sheet so we've got another one here paste that there that is occupied over time 24 7 link mark link to status status link mark opening times link to out into there and then put that into there simple as that so that's overtime clocks done for that server I still got to do over over time sorry that's time clocks done for that station I've got to do all the other stations and then I've got to set up on the server which I presume I could show you that now let me just file log off and file close window so these are the server now so we're now on the server and these are the time clocks and it's we're sending these here that one that one and that one but I need to put them into a graphic on the station so I can just double click that schedulers and we don't have any in the moment I've not so I've not started it so let's do some schedulers so I just want this sidebar in files we don't need that PX there schedulers there and the include so that's the overview page that's the overview page and that's going to be the first time clock and let's go back to that include come on load up and that's going to be opening times That's going to go to schedule one. Okay, so let's do the opening times. Go into edit mode. That's going to say opening times. to select the opening times component chooser sites not that one that one Stratford opening times so that's going to display on the web page the opening times time clock go okay it's not going to display it here it will display it on the um, on the web browser so now I'm going to go into the schedule that's got the overview which has got all the time clocks wait for that to load edit mode move that down that's going to be going to the opening times uh, doo -doo -doo -doo. that's going to go to the scheduler so when they click on it they go to the scheduler so component chooser no I don't want component chooser I want files files station PX 
that one, that one Stratford, schedulers, scheduler one. I'm just going to put that, to do a control key C, because I think, no that's not going to be that one, so let's go component chooser, opening time, so that's already been done for me. And that's going to be the opening times again. So component chooser sites everyone active Stratford opening times and that's just going to show what the time clock is. So that's one done. Let's just do another one and this time I can copy and paste it but uh, I'll leave this one. I, I won't. I'll show you how I get to that. Let's just do these ones. Duplicate. Let's just duplicate that one because that's going to go over the top of the other one. Put that over the top. Just make sure it is over the top. Reorder to top, which it is. And the next one. Well, what we'll do is we'll just go to that. Click on that, click on that, click on component chooser, and the one that we wanted, coffee AHU times. So we should have a coffee AHU times. I've put the name in front of it because it's easier to search for it. When I'm searching for it to put it on the station, I can do search for Stratford Hastrix and it would bring in me all the anything that's got starting with Stratford Asterix coffee AHU times okay this is all on the server still remember so that's coffee AHU times now we want to bring in that and what we do with that is I find on the server the coffee AHU times which is there and then I would do workbench view current day summary okay so it brings brought it in for me and to make it a little bit smaller I've got a lot of time clocks to put on here so that's a three gap is it one two three I'll just take that over there yeah that's fine put that over there at the top go on and this is going to be scheduler two when we do it so scheduler two okay okay Let's go back to our points here in the schedulers and I can find it. Not there, it's in the files. Come on. There we go. That's the wrong site. Duplicate that. That's going to be two. And then I want to go into two. In fact, let's do the include first on the left hand side. Come on, load up. Take that. Take that duplicate that in fact I'm going to have to make these smaller because I know I've got lots and lots of time clocks hopefully I'll fit them all on there that's coffee AHU Wondering what AHU that is. I think it's AHU3. Coffee 
Page view three. And that's going to go to the scheduler two. I'm just going to open up a, another page there. AHU3. So it's AHU3 Cafe. Right, AHU3 Cafe. Go back to that. Cafe, AHU3, schedule 2. Click on that, that should take me to that. <coughs> Edit that. Cafe AHU <coughs> three times. Control key C. Control key B. Take that and that. Drop that down over that. And that's going to be not the opening times. That's going to be the cafe or coffee AHU times and then we can come out of that take it out of edit mode I need to go into opening times because I know it's slightly out of alignment on the left hand side that up one that's it and then I've got to do it for all the others which I'm not going to show you I'm not going to carry on doing any any more here I'll end the video so it's okay it's just repetitive work thanks for watching